In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a stand for your phone or your tablet. It's really easy and so easy to make out of a piece of fabric or the leg of a pair of jeans. So what are you going to need? You're going to need a pair of jeans. Well, strictly just the leg of a pair of jeans. And you're going to need something to fill it with. Now you can use whatever you like. I'm going to use a mixture of rice to give it some weight and toy filling to give it some softness. You could use stones, pebbles, lentils, old bits of fabric, old tights, whatever you've got. And I suggest putting a little bit of decoration on the back. So I'm using these little flowers, which you can see how to make on my channel. There's a link in the description below and on the screen. And you could just use a button and you might want to put an insert in the bottom made out of cardboard or plastic. I've just used the bottom of a, a writing pad, um, but that's completely optional. But I'll show you if you want to put one in yours. So to start with, take your jeans and you're going to cut the leg off at 14 inches. OK, that makes us gives us plenty of material to play with. Now, if you're going to make it out of a piece of fabric, cut your fabric 18 inches by 14 inches. Fold it in half with right sides facing and sew along the length to form a tube as if you'd started with a leg from a pair of trousers. And then we can all work together because we've all got the same size tube. So the first thing you're going to do is turn it inside out. So we've got right sides facing, put your seams on either side and along the edge that you've just cut, you're going to pin it and indeed sew it half an inch in. It's not exact measurements, but about half an inch. So just sew a straight seam and then clip those corners off, making sure you don't cut your stitches, just so that when you turn it out, you can get good points there, that's all. And then turn the whole thing the right way out. And you'll see that what you've made is a bag. So push those points out. And if you have trouble getting a good point, use something blunt like a chopstick and just work it into those corners and you'll get good points. And then to do the next bit to make the shape, you're going to place it on your workbench, but with the seams one on top of the other, just like I'm doing here. So just get those so that they line up and then pull everything so that it lines up nicely. So you can see I'm just fiddling about with it. The two points that you made are one above the other and then fold it back so that you make that square shape at the bottom. So it's quite distinctive and you'll know when you've got it right. Just mess about until you're happy with it. Then fold that bottom point up to the middle of the square. Just as far as the middle and then pin it in place. Make sure you only go through one layer of fabric. We're not pinning it through everything. Just going to pin it there. And then you're going to sew that in place. So get yourself a needle and thread. I'm using a double thread. And if you put your hand inside the bag, you can make sure you've not gone through any more layers and you're just going to secure it to that one layer. So the only way I'm going to do it is by simply taking a little bit of the point and a little bit of the fabric tube and just taking a little stitch from each and repeating that several times and just going slightly down from the point on either side just to make sure it's all secure. So as you can see, you just repeat Get a bit of one and a bit of the other. And once you get to the point where you think it's quite secure, you can take your pin out, carry on doing a few more stitches, and then you can finish off and cut your thread. But if you're going to attach some decoration, I suggest using the same thread so you can just carry on. So you could sew a button in place, or like I'm doing, a little flower. And you could sew it on all the way around and make it really firm, or like I'm doing, you can just sew it in the center so that it can move about a bit. Once that's secure, you're going to need to finish your thread off properly and away you go. Now, the next step is optional because this is where I'm going to look at making that insert out of cardboard or plastic. So if you don't want to do it, move on. All you're going to need is a piece of cardboard and I've used the bottom of a writing pad, nothing special. And you're going to take some measurements. So measure the triangle that you made. And you can see mine is four inches. Yours could be different. It all depends on the size of the trouser leg you used. And you've got to decide how long you want your shape. Now, I'm going to go for five inches. And that seems to make a reasonable size. And measure across your trouser leg. Now, mine's seven inches. 
So I'm going to make it six inches, the insert, to give me some spare space. So now I know my measurements, I can just make that out of cardboard very easily. So the first thing you're going to do is measure the length. So I'm going to measure that five inches and I'm just going to mark it. And then on one end, I'm going to measure six inches. And at the other end, I'm going to measure four inches, but those four inches need to be in the center. So what I'm going to do is measure one inch in from each end of a six inch mark. Draw that in. And then you can see the shape that I showed you earlier, taking shape. You're going to join those points on both sides and you're going to have a symmetrical shape. And then all you need to do is cut that out and it's ready to go into your stand. If you're enjoying this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up below and help it spread to more people so lots of people can get creative. And then we're going to fill it. So if you're putting a base in, place it in now on the bottom and get it so you're comfortable and happy with it. And then it's time to fill the shape. So because of my combination, it's just a little bit more complicated. I'm doing one thing than another. But whatever you're filling it with, now's the time to push it in there. So I'm going to put some toy filling in so that it fills that end. Gives me a nice point at the top and just generally gives a nice edge. I think it's a little bit nicer than just the rice or polystyrene balls or whatever you're putting in there. Then you need to pour your heavy weight in, whatever that is. Try to make a bit less mess than me. Just thought I could pour it straight from the bowl. And then if like me, you're putting something else in, Now's the time to push that in. Now I'm going to put a bit more toy filling in because I think it gives a nice edge that I'm going to put my tablet on and it holds the rice in place while I'm messing about. And then place it down and start to see if it's forming the shape you want. So you can see you're getting that slope that your tablet's going to go on and you can see where you're going to sew. But you can see that mine's not full enough. It's a bit soft at the edges. So I'm pushing some more fill in just into those edges and then try it again. And you're going to get it so that it's as firm as you want it to be. And then once you're happy, we need to secure everything in there. So push everything back, make sure it's all firm and then pin it in place so nothing can move. So I start and just pin quite near the middle and another one quite near the middle. Get all your pins in and then you can start adjusting them. If you haven't got them straight or you're not happy with them or it's not tight enough, just adjust them. And then you're going to sew all the way along that straight line. Be careful when you're sewing denim, it's quite tough. So remember, you should really be using a denim needle and take care. So you can see it's all secure, it's in there. You've got that shape. But if we put our tablet on there now, it's just going to slide off. So we're going to make the little bump that's going to keep it in place. And it's up to you how big this bump is. So on this one, I'm going to cut my fabric at three inches from my row of stitches. The one that I made out of fabric, I did at two and a half inches. And if I'm honest, I think I prefer that one. But it really is a personal preference. Just different size bump, that's all. So cut straight across and then fold in the edge. And I recommend about half an inch. You're not short of fabric here, so give yourself plenty folded in and pin the two sides together. So they should make a nice tidy edge. And you're gonna do that all the way along, but leaving about an inch, an inch and a half at one end, and then sew along that edge, but leave that gap. Because that gap is where you're gonna put your filling in, whatever stuffing you want to use. You could use rice in here, I'm going to use some of my toy filling and push it in. Another use for the chopstick to get it all the way along and to the other end. And now comes another decision. However much filling you would like in here, you could have it really solid. You could have it quite soft. The only thing that matters is that it holds your phone or your tablet in place so that you can use it. So it's worth getting your tablet and just checking that everything's right for you. Does it hold it? Can you still see the whole screen? Are you happy? If so, you're done. And it's time 
to sew up the little hole that you left. Now, what you might find is like mine, you've not quite got enough stuffing in, perhaps haven't filled right to the end. So if that's the case, just put a little bit more in. And then you're going to pin the hole closed, take it to the machine and sew it closed. And then there you go. You've completed your stand for your phone or your tablet. I hope you've enjoyed making it and I hope you enjoy using it or whoever you're going to gift it to. So please remember to subscribe to the channel, click the like button, get spread to more people and thank you for watching.